Welcome to the Word of Faith happening at PBC Northgate, Havira. Joshua was told in Joshua 1.8, Let the Word of God not depart from you. Meditate on it day and night. Be careful to do all that's written in it, and you'll be prosperous and successful. So we meditate on God's Word, and we pray together. I'm reading the text from Mark chapter 1. Then they went to Capernaum, and uh, the Sabbath came. Jesus was in the synagogue teaching. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Just then, a man in the synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly. Come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently, came out of him with a shriek. The people are amazed that they asked each other, what is this, a new teaching? And with authority, he even gives orders to impure spirits and they obey him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Gariri. Jesus does another miracle. He, t he sends away an impure spirit. This is an amazing story because he knows their language, they know him even before he speaks. And we can learn a few things from this passage of scripture. Number one, he was teaching, you know, in the center. It's an ordinary day. So don't expect miracles in an extraordinary setting. Just a normal, ordinary day. He's in the synagogue, he's teaching, people are listening. And there was no showdown. It's not being done for sure. So expect to see God in your ordinary circumstances. Don't necessarily look for God in extraordinary situations. Don't pray when you are hard pressed. Pray all the time, make it a habit, so that in ordinary circumstances, you can see God. Verse 23, just then a man in the synagogue who was possessed of a pure spirit cried out. Just then, God is a God of suddenly. You could be having a trouble that's bothering you for years, or for months, or for weeks. Suddenly, our God comes suddenly. In the book of Acts chapter 9, when Paul, Saul was on the, on the horse going to Damascus to persecute the church, suddenly a light came and he fell off the, off the horse and he was blind. And the, that was a conversion of his life. He became a believer from Saul to Paul. Suddenly, when the Ethiopian man was on his way back from Jerusalem doing the pilgrim, suddenly the, uh, Philip was riding around him. You know, he was running around him, along the chariot. He said, there's a pool of water here. Why must I not be baptized? The suddenly of God. I'm expecting a suddenly in my life. I don't know about you, but expect a suddenly. But the, spirit, the, the scriptures say that Jesus spoke to the evil spirit. He said, be quiet, come out of him. Very simple, no drama. Just come out and, uh, and, and, and God exercised authority over this spirit. You see, there are many things we say. We, we have the words for it, but not the power to execute it. Because you need two things. You need the authority to be able to say, but also you need the ability to be able to carry out. Jesus had both. Spoke to the evil spirit. Get out. And the evil spirit got out. So three things. Ordinary situations of life. Expect God. And then the suddenly of God, in no time, he shows up and changes your circumstances. And finally, remember he has both the authority to say and the capacity to deliver on your promise. The evil spirit left the man and people are amazed. This is a new teaching that has authority. Why don't we pray as we meditate on this story together? Father, we thank you because of your authority to implement and also the capacity to do it. That's why the Bible says in 1 Samuel 3.19, none of the words of Samuel fell to the ground because as he spoke them, and spoke them authoritatively, the angels picked it up. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1.10 that you're washing over your word to perform it in our lives. And so we are so thankful that we serve such a God, a God of suddenly, a God of ordinary situations, and a God who has authority to deliver on his promise. Come through for us and come through for every listener to the glory of your name. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and give you the honor. And we pray this. Believe we are trusting in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in.